Hey, algebras and algebabes, Professor Algebra back at back at it. We've got this time we're doing long division only. I want you to notice something. Now look and, and say, okay, pro, we, we're missing a term. Yes, we are. This is the concept of a zero placeholder. So what we have to do, for example, let me just say this. If you if you're taking a thousand five and you're dividing it by three. You're not just going to say one five divided by three. You're going to say one zero zero five divided by three. So that's what the concept is. We have to make room for this particular term. We don't have anything to the third power. So Professor Algebra is going to show you how we do this. So the first thing we're going to do, what's on the outside? Now this may get a little, it's going to go down. So first thing I do, x to the fourth plus zero x cubed. That's my zero placeholder minus 2x squared plus x minus 2. Now, I'm going to try to slow this down, but this is going to take a while, so you got you algebras and algebra babies, got to hold on with me, okay? So, you say, how many times is x going to x to the fourth? So, we say x to the fourth over x equals x cubed. Exponent rules. So, it's x cubed times. So, watch this. We say x cubed times x is x to the fourth x cubed times x is negative x cubed. Now remember from the other video, before we combine, we must change the sign. So this goes and this goes. Now this goes away. So it's zero plus x cubed is x cubed. Now we bring down the next term and we start it all over again. How many times does x go into x cubed? That would be x squared. So we put positive x squared up here and we say, okay, x squared times x is x cubed, and x squared times x is negative x squared. Now, before we combine, we have to change the signs. All right, so these go away, and negative 2 plus 1 is negative x squared. I bring down my plus x, I start it again. How many times does x go into negative x squared? That would be negative x times. So I put negative x here, okay, everybody with me. Now, negative x times x is negative x squared, and negative x times x, that's go, oh wow, dudes. Before I combine, I have to change the sign, so that goes to zero, so I now have minus two. I have nothing I can do, so watch this. This is gonna be x cubed plus x squared, Minus x, since there was nothing left over, this is going to be minus 2 over x minus 1. I know that's a lot to go through, but guys, just remember, this is Professor Algebra. No matter where you go, math is there. Later. Algebras, if you like what you saw, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Later.